Oh, it's good. It's been a good, really good week. You know, just kind of, really just kind of trying to create the eye intensity that you got to have. You know, and uh, just kind of back to the, back to the basics. Uh, and been fun with those guys this week. I love how they've responded. Just their, you know, they, they take. They, there's pride in that in that group, and uh, nobody needs to tell them that they they got to do a better job. You know, and, and Tim research today. We, we didn't have eight drops until the fifth game last year, and four of them were in the hurricane. <laughs> and uh, you have eight drops in one game. Uh, you made you Tim know. go back and watch Notre Dame. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's. I think it's. It's just. It's. It's constantly running in his. It's a loop in his house. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just like a loop. It just keeps going. Keeps going. Uh, yes, it really happened, Tim. Uh, I did. But. You know, that's the bottom line. We just got to become more consistent, and when we do, then that, that really just kind of changes everything. Uh, have, have they reacted differently since losing Hunter? Since Hunter had really emerged, he's a starter, he's a leader, he's a, someone who catches the ball. Oh, uh, it's just more opportunity for him. Next guy up, you know, they, they love Hunter, uh, but, you know, it's just there, there's not much. Uh, it's just like, okay, hey, who's moving in, who's moving up, let's go. Uh, I think the biggest thing is, is you know, they know he's going to be okay. He's going to be back, uh, but taking advantage of their opportunities. Again, yeah, that's really what they're focused on right now. And uh, I've been again really, really pleased with how they've worked, the intensity that we've had, and because uh, I think that's what you do. You do something about it. I mean, and the thing is, the crazy thing is, is I mean, we couldn't have had a better camp. I mean, this is not even nothing indicative of what I saw in camp from these guys. Uh, so we'll work through it, but so you just you know back to the basics, uh, you know a little extra work here and there, and and uh, going back and looking at some of the fundamental mistakes that we've made, uh, you know catching the ball and where our eyes are and where our head is and things like that, our hand placement, uh, and just uh, you know cr creating that confidence all over again. Speak so it, it'll 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 it'll, it'll show. Speaking of Hunter, uh, hopefully you won't have to make this decision anytime soon. But if uh, uh, with him out, if if you should need a backup punter, do you have any idea yeah, who that would be? Yeah, yeah. Carson Keen right now is the backup punter, and uh, you know uh, uh, haven't fully decided to hold Spires yet. Uh, but he's he's really kind of stock is going way up on him right now. Would like to redshirt him if I could. Uh, I really think he's going to be pretty special. Uh, he, he, has, he has made a big stride, big strides the last couple of weeks. And, um, but right now it would be Carson King, and he's done a nice job too, and as, as has Michael Batson. I mean, all three of those guys are, are pretty solid, but we're competing. We, we have open competition every Tuesday afternoon. Uh, it's kind of our long field goal day, and then it's our open punt in front of the team, just creating some, some, uh, just some competition. Loser, you got one winner and the rest of them lose. Um, and so it's been fun to kind of watch him get after it a little bit. Um, but King would be right now the guy that's like that. I know deep down you're always, you've always been a wide receivers coach, but is it yeah. fun to take the, the head coach hat off for a few minutes and get out there with those guys? Yeah, I mean, I've always, uh, I'm always grinding with those guys. I, 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 you know, Jeff does an unbelievable job, always has. Um, but uh, obviously he's got coordinator duties too. And, and uh, you know, I think, uh, I, you know, one of the things that I've always liked to do during our indie periods and stuff is I'll spend a little time there. But I, I like to I like to get with all the groups. Some days I'll go to the defense and, uh, and get in the middle of some of that. But you know, I'm always coaching. But but uh, it's just you know, this is a, a week where I really needed to get back. And it's just you know, if they play great, it's not because of me. It's just because you know they got their mind right. Uh, but I felt like this was a week that I needed to jump in there with Jeff and help him. Uh, and just kind of go back to some of the things that, that we need to do just from a, uh, a drill standpoint. Again, creating that eye intensity that it takes and the confidence. Um, so, again, it's been fun. I saw uh, Field was in a green jersey. Is he okay? Who's that? Mark Fields. Uh, yeah, he failed, he failed on a kickoff coverage thing. I think he uh, fell on his shoulder. But he practiced, I think, the whole practice. How's Austin Bryant and uh, Xavier Kelly coming along? Uh, Xavier's doing, doing, doing good, doing really good. Uh, Austin is, is again, uh, making big strides day by day. Uh, and uh, uh, we'll just keep 
keep going on that progress right there. Kind of a daily, a daily update. Georgia Tech maybe or no? Uh, I, I, I would say, you know, probably not for Georgia Tech. Uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Uh, to be honest with you, but you know, probably not. I think Louisville is a pretty strong possibility. Uh, you know who we play at Georgia Tech? Yes. Mm -hmm. Louisville. Uh, it'll be a pretty, pretty strong possibility. Um, but uh, you know, maybe if it was on Saturday, it might have been a little closer for him. But you know, with having to leave on Wednesday, and, and you know, it's just because he—I mean, it's—it's it, it's just literally he's day to day. Uh, but he's he's progressing, you know, very well. Does he need to practice before? Yeah, absolutely. He game, yeah, before he gets yeah, in the game. Exactly. I mean, he's getting he's get he's getting a little bit of practice and get banged around a little bit. But uh, I think that part will come pretty quick because he did get you know all the camp. Part, so, um, it's just a matter of, of uh, getting confident where he can really plant and cut like he wants. Especially that particular opponent. Uh, the fact that Christian has played as well as he has out there, would that help if Austin is not available for Georgia Tech? Yeah. That you, you're you're oh, staffed yeah. enough out there? Yeah, we're, 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 our personnel is fine. You know, It's going to be nice to get him back. Uh, <laughs> anytime you can get a good player back, I mean, you guys are starting on our team. Uh, it's going to be a big shot in the arm for us. But, uh, you know, we're 2-0. and oh, and. And uh, Christians played great, you know, and that's what that's kind of what I was telling y'all uh, yesterday. Is that's one of the disappointing things of some of the funky stuff that we've gotten into uh, with some inconsistency is it's, it's overshadowed some of the real positives that that we've had. Christian Wilkins is one of them. I mean, he's he's played well. Uh, I mean, he has really played well. Uh, so you know, we're we're fortunate, and, and then we've been able to. You're getting some experience, getting register in there. Uh, 99's played two games now, uh, and uh, Jabril is still coming along. He's repping every day, so I, I feel good about it. And then what we've been at now, Dexter's played. Huggins has got finally got he got 16 or 17 reps the other day. It's probably most he's played. And so we're Carlos is playing well. Pagano played well Saturday. So we're we're in a good spot with those guys. Hopefully we can stay healthy. Continue to develop them, and then get Austin back in that mix, and that's going to really help us. And then Xavier, uh, as I told you, I would, I'd love to hold him, um, but I, I, I'm not ready to make that final decision after two games. And, you know, we'll see where, where what happens. The lobbyists, he worked you from not playing all the way to yeah, wearing, yeah, yeah. wearing a jersey on game day. Yeah. Where's he at now on, yeah. on Wednesday? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's doing pretty good. He's, uh, <laughs> He's out there sprinting today. I mean, he's just, he's such a, I, mean, I love Bimbo, where he's such a just grinder. I mean, he's just the epitome. I mean, he just loves it. Blue collar, he's just so selfless and just committed. He's just committed. Um, and uh, he's doing great. So uh, I'm at least going to let him go through warm ups on Saturday. <laughs> Would you like to uh, work Cornell into the, the punt return game at all on Saturday? Or just eventually, right eventually, you know, I think, I think we want to keep building the confidence that we have right now with Ray Ray and, and, and Artavis. Those two guys are, are, um, are, are dialed in and, and Cornell's working some as well. But, um, you know, hopefully we can get Feaster going a little bit on the, on the kick return. And hopefully we don't get him any opportunities. Uh, but hopefully with what we can get, we can give him some, some opportunity to shine a little bit. No, you only got five days after this game. How do you go into next week? I mean, yeah. obviously it's a short week. And well, it's, it's it's not, obviously we've known the schedule since the spring, so we plan it well in advance. Um, we, 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 you know, have a plan of practice, a plan of preparation from the spring, things we do to fall camp, um, and then, you know, practice schedule-wise, all that stuff. Uh, and last year we had, you know, Good experience. It just seems like every year uh, we're on the road for our first conference game. Uh, I've played one Thursday night game. I'm not lobbying for Thursday night games at home, but it sure gets old having to play them all on the road. Um, but um, uh, it's it's a challenge, especially playing Georgia Tech because they're they're a very difficult opponent to get ready for just because of what they do schematically. I mean, it's just. It's just hard, um, especially for our defense. But it's hard for them too. You know, I mean, they, they've got uh, a game Saturday, and they got to turn around and get ready for Clemson. Uh, it's just, it's just tough. I mean, you play whatever is that two games in five days. Uh, it's, it's 
pretty hard. But be, being, we'll be ready. Being that, being that stuff. Sometimes you know, I, I, I kind of, I kind of like it too, because it's like, all right, let's lace them up and go play. Feel like a basketball coach. Uh, <laughs> get to play, I don't have to wait so long to get to the next game. Being that you know you're put there, you know the kind of offense they're running all. How much of that did you introduce during camp to get them ready? Because you only got so many yeah. days. You got well, short, we, we do. Day. We we try to get ready for a lot of our opponents in camp. You know, uh, there's a lot of seasonal installation that goes on that we're preparing our guys for. You know, the season, different opponents, things that we've done as we've studied in the spring, all summer long. We have you know, breakdowns on everybody. Uh, but uh, I, I don't think that's different for most, I think most people probably do that. And so when you plan your installation uh, for the spring and for the fall, you, you typically plan it based on things that you know you're going to want to do throughout the course of the season. And uh, as, you, as you kind of peeked at the opponents, and then as you get some film on those opponents, you, you try to validate because uh, sometimes they change what they're doing or different things like that. But, uh, you're looking for validation uh, off of this year's tape, and then and then the personnel from this year, because you know, all you got is last year's tape coming into the season. Did you do anything as a team to observe Deshaun's birthday today? At birthday, <laughs> uh, we just said happy birthday to him. Uh, Lee Turnipseed's birthday, Julie Venable's birthday, uh, Deshaun's birthday. So a lot of neat people born today. Anything no, else? No, I asked you yesterday about the FCS deal, but it just a to clarify, when you do make the schedule, why not a second FBS? It could be a mid-major or whoever in the, I mean, an FCS team. Well, I mean, we, we definitely could do that. Um, but uh, that's just kind of been our formula. Mm -hmm. uh, we've tried to play one of these teams from the in-state. Sure. That's where we've kept it in, in the state. Um, uh, before I went out of state to get another one of those teams, I'd rather play another uh, mid-major type of team. But, but I just think it's great for Furman and for Wofford and Citadel and South Carolina State, I think it's great. Um, and, um, but there are nothing more than that. Coach, Coach now, that, now that ACC title game will not be in Charlotte, is Pluto back on the table? <laughs> <laughs> is Pluto a planet? Did they make a comeback? <laughs> <laughs> I heard they made a comeback. <laughs> Been there before. <laughs> Coach yeah. Burry retired and Pluto was <laughs> Last year the moon was an option for Notre Dame. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. I tell you, I have no idea. But, you know, as I said yesterday, we're. We just want to be in it, you know. Um, wherever it's at, hopefully we can we can be there. We'll have it here at Clemson. We'll be glad to host it right here. I don't know if they'll go for that. Columbia's been floated. In Columbia? Mm -hmm. uh, that'd be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know what, what – I'm sure they'll get a plan figured out. But, again, for us and I'm sure for all the teams, you just want to be in the game and, and all that other stuff. We don't have any control over that. What's better, Pluto or Columbia? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can breathe in Columbia. <laughs> I don't think you can breathe in Pluto. Coach, uh, um, Taj Boy went on ESPN today to try to defend uh, some of the statements that you made yesterday with, with people who you know misinterpreted and misunderstood them. Um, Taj said that you were the, the most genuine, fair, and, and loving man that he's ever met, uh, talked in great length about how much he respected you. What, what does it mean to you to, to hear Taj talk about you that way? Well, I, I didn't know he did that, um, but you know I appreciate that. I mean, it's it's um, uh, again. I think anytime you make statements, um, you know people are going to agree with them or not agree with them. And sometimes people attack you, and, and uh, certainly I'm not an attacking person. Uh, but uh, I appreciate that. You know, people. <laughs> what matters to me are, are people who know me, and. Uh, and uh, what's in my heart, and, and uh, what, what the good Lord put in my heart. Uh, those are the things that matter to me. So uh, the people that, that know who I am, they know exactly what I meant. And uh, it didn't mean anything negative or anything like that. That's answered the question. Uh, it's a shame, that, you know, that's, that's the world we live in, and it comes with the territory. Uh, it's just the role that I. I am in, but I appreciate that, and uh, you know I love all my players. I love Taj. I love my guys, um, and uh, care about them, and do everything I can to help them be successful. And, and, uh, and uh, that's never going to change. All set. Thank, Thank you, Coach. All right, appreciate.